5 Known Paranormal Investigators in the Philippines Knowledge Chess TV Number 5, Alex Angeles Born on March 2, 1960 A paranormal expert in local show, Mysterio, at GMA 7, Saturday, 4.30 p.m. He is a tarot card reader since 1977 has been affiliated with numerous establishment and events such as Shangri-La Mall, Aura Cafe, Psychic Festival, and now frequents in Figaro Podium. Engaged to Maria Cristina Antoinette Backlet, a graphologist and a psychologist. Number 4. Rob Rubin Is a psychic tarot reader and the head man behind Mysterium Philippines. He appeared as a guest paranormal investigator in Mysterio of GMA 7. Mysterio is a Philippine television horror documentary show broadcast by QTV and GMA Network. Hosted by Ryan Eigenman, it premiered in Q on January 19, 2009. It moved to GMA Network on December 18, 2010. Number 3, Adam Reyes. Address, Cameron, North Kalawakan. 30 years of experience in the field of tarot reading, spiritual counseling, intuitive counseling, and life coaching. Specialize in the areas of love, relationship, family, career, business, finances, soulmates, and twin flames. A paranormal investigator, head man of Project Version 2. He appeared as a guest and consultant in a number of TV shows. The Version 2 project is first and foremost a human development program and secondarily a public service with regard to the paranormal. They only charge as services if mass media distribution is involved, but otherwise investigate, research, and give lectures for free, purely for the sake of knowledge, exploration, and the adventure. Number 2, Anadella Cruz. Psychic Or a reader A nurse Examines the Bonifacio trial house in Maragondon, Cavita Date aired, October 30, 2014 Also a paranormal investigator at Mysterio Number 1, Ed Calwag has become a trending name online for his television appearances, but few people know about him beyond the small screen. Capuso Mo Jessica Soho goes up close and personal with the paranormal investigator. Who is Ed Calwag? Neighbors called him Boyet. He was the son of a carpenter. He was sickly as a child suffered from polio and later diagnosed with rheumatic heart disease. But he never received any medical attention because his family was poor. The lack of treatment made his condition worse, but his family could not do anything beyond giving him a bottle of orange soda to drink and wiping him with a wet towel. One day, while Ed was playing with one of the kids, his mother called him to eat. He wanted to invite his friend for the meal, so he talked to his mother. Other children the real ones were not as kind as his playmates. They would start bullying Ed, saying he had connections with E.T., the iconic alien movie character. They accused him of making up scary stories. But over time, Ed slowly began to accept his abilities. 
Psychic Advisor, Jade Martin Tarot Reader Energy Healer Paranormal Expert Lecturer Life Coach LOA Coach 5 Known Paranormal Investigators in the Philippines